That off in the distance right there is Mount Hood. And that right there off in the distance is Mount Adams. This is one place you can see both mountains up on the hill. And the hill I'm talking about is Summit, Thai Valley Ridge, right there. Hi YouTube. As you can see, I have my Garrett AT Pro here with me. I'm at, at a favorite campground that I grew up in. Basically didn't live here, but I came here with my parents all the time. In the 70s, this place used to be hopping with people. I have this campground all to myself for now. I'm here to do a stream fishing video. There's Badger Creek. See about catching some trout. And I'm also here to see if I could find any relics of the past with my metal detector. So I'll get back to you with my first find. First finds on the surface with the metal detector. I didn't see it until I beeped. Looks like it's a 22 Magnum shell casing. Next find was right here. Oh, look what we have there in the shade. It's actually a live round. It's a 22 long rifle round, so I'll get that out of here. Keep the kids from playing with it. Right where the 22 bullet was right here, I have another find right here. <laughs> it's a coin. Looks like it's a penny. 1972. I think it's Denver. I want to show you in my next find. I kept getting interrupted signals. Pinpointer. There's a 22 shell casing right here. Look here. Another penny, I believe. It's a zinc penny, so it's 1982 or newer. Well, I just picked this mess up off the ground. Five 22 shells and another live round. Okay, I got another one right here. Let's see if I can find it really quick. Oh, another 22 shell casing. All right. Pretty dry here, so fix the hole as best as you can and tamp it down. Okay, I'm finding a lot of shell casings. So it ends up being a 45 auto, a little damaged. It was about four inches deep. Well, what do we got? Looks like it's gonna be a dime. I need readers to see what the date is. This is too dark. I got another one right here. Gonna be a quarter, 22 shell casing. All right. Anyway, I haven't been recording as many of these 22 shell casings. I get a solid signal one way and a choppy signal the other. So I'm not gonna be recording too many of those, just coin finds. Just found one of these that go with tents. While I'm swinging the metal detector, I keep seeing these, and I've seen these before. What they're known as is an uh, ant lion. So it, li ants will crawl along, and they'll get caught in the hole there, and they'll fall down. And they start to try and climb their way out. That's when the ant lion grabs them. So let's see what happens here. Try a different one. Yep, 
Anyway, see if I can scoop them up, find them. Huh. Anyway, they're known as ant lions. Another one here. So maybe they can tell the difference between an ant trying to get out. <laughs> another choppy signal, but another penny. This is a zinc penny. From here on out, unless it's a spectacular coin, I'm not going to do any more. I'll just show you them on the wrap up. Found myself another different size of shell casing out here. 762R1M1 says up here WA80. So it's different. Another find. We're in a campground. I found a tent stake. It's a nice one. This time I found what I believe is a 223 shell with a 22 shell stuffed inside of it. And it's empty, but it was stuffed just like that. See how clean it is? <laughs> the kid probably found it, seen that it fit, and shoved her in. 762 by 39. That's what this is. Okay, here's the uh, wrap up for metal detecting this campground out here. Anyway, um, pretty dry ground. I was coming here in the 70s with my parents, so got my Garrett AT Pro, my digging tool, and this pinpointer. It's just a no name brand, so it's not necessary to show what it is, but take a look. I've wore a hole through it. I might need to put a patch there after cleaning the dirt out. Some sort of a hard rubber, hard uh, plastic mix, something. Anyway, I ended up with different shell casings. This one is the one with the 22 shell inside the casing. There's that one, 45. That's a 72 by uh, 3.9 or something like that, SKS shell. This, of course, is the 223. These are 762 by, I believe, it just says RM, R1M1. And then on the top it says WA80. I don't know what they're quite, what, what they are, but here's a couple bullets. 45 shell there and an exploded one. Got some 9mm shells. I know that's a 17 caliber HMR or whatever. This is a 22 Magnum, 22 long rifles right here. 422 long rifle bullets that I found. A button, a grommet. Of course, I'm at a campsite, so here are all the melted aluminum cans. I'm sure I found, would have found more if I had dug up uh, some of the crummy signals. Over here, I got tent items. I don't quite know what this is, just a chunk of aluminum. But that's that one for uh, hooking to a tent, and this goes into the tent pole. A couple tent stakes. They ring off really well, just like a quarter. Okay, I ended up with three quarters, five dimes. Oldest dime being a 1970. And I don't quite see its mint mark. So I not I'm not sure on that one. I don't think it has a mint mark. Oldest penny, 1959. Next that's 1960. Two 72 or 70s's, a 72, two 75 D's, 77 Denver, 81 Philadelphia. Pile of zinc pennies. Yuck. They're just in crummy condition. Anyway, if you like this metal detecting episode, please press like. If you want to see more of my type of videos, it's all outdoor type stuff. Please subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more of it, uh, notification bell. The works. <laughs> Thank you for watching.